Hi, my name's Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. You can probably see from the state of my face so ravaged that I've just had a shave. There's a video about that on the channel. And I've clipped myself here, so I'm trying to mop up. Now, something I noticed recently in my videos, you know, I'm sounding really nasally and you can hear my breathing. And okay, I've got a fairly big nose, so I'm nasally all the time, but you know, I can feel it's blocked and it's, it doesn't help me. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be a runner and frankly, my, you know, it's affecting my breathing. So what I've got is this thing here and this is a neti pot. And I don't know if you've seen one of these. I can show you close up here. It's actually like a little wee pot, a wee little kiddie's toy. And it comes with a lid, but it's lost become lost because my kids basically play around with this. And what you do is you take the pot and you take this little pack of salt. Um, I'll, well, I'll just show you what you do with it. It's quite simple. Crack open the pot of salt. Pot of salt. Sachet of salt. Tip that in. Sorry for the screaming in the background. My kids are going through a screaming phase and I've got some water here. You can hear it running in the background and I'm trying to adjust the temperature so it doesn't completely annihilate me. But you want, you want it basically around body temperature or, you know, you, you touch it with your hands, it's okay, I guess. I mean, that's what you do. And I'm gonna fill the pot up and the fact it hasn't got a lid is kind of annoying because you can't really shake it around. So, what I'm going to do is scientific. I've got uh, my screw <laughs> screwdriver again. I don't know what's going on in my mind. It's my kids in the background screaming, driving me nuts. I've got this toothbrush. I'm just going to stir it up and watch this. This is great. So you actually put this. I'm going to try with this this nose no nasal hole first. You put it in one nostril. Tip your head. Can you see that? It's actually coming out the other one. I try not to drown myself. So if you get it right, it's actually coming inside and it's filling your sinuses. You can tip your head back as much as you like. And, um, you know, let's be frank, what it's doing is softening up any mucus you've got in there. And when you've got a sinus full of water, you can blow it out. You know, like blowing out a big greenie when you've got a cold. So it's a bit like that. Yeah, there we go. So that was unpleasant. It wasn't really, it wasn't really unpleasant. It's not unpleasant at all. It just, it's weird. It seems weird and you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's weird, it's gross. I'm blowing bogeys out of my face, but well, why would you want them in your face? So what happens is that salt in the water stops it stinging. You know, when you put normal uh, water up your nose, you know, even if it's tap water, not just swimming pool water, it seems to sting your brain. This uh, salt in the water stops it doing that. So. Look at that. Ah! I said ah because I spilled water on myself and I get it on the sink oh, on the sink and on the floor like a big wuss. <laughs> so rinse and repeat and do that through the whole pot. Don't put so much that you actually drown yourself or you fill your brain with water. If you feel yourself passing out because you're sucking in too much water, don't. You're not supposed to breathe in. It's literally just going in one nostril and out the other. Do that a few times and hopefully that'll help clear your sinuses. And I found it really helps for hay fever, you know, in the summer months or the spring. So if you suffer from those things, you know, I think it was about, I don't know, five pounds, eight pounds, including all the salt. Get one of these, see if that helps you out. And as ever, thank you for watching.